Hey guys, happy morning. I've got my micellar water here. This is my La Roche-Posay micellar ultra. And the only cotton pads I have left are like giant ones. Every morning, this is what I take over my skin at the start of the day. This is what you don't normally see in the videos, but I hope you guys are having a good day. I hit the snooze button once this morning, which gave me like an extra, I don't know, eight or nine minutes or something. And I grabbed this out of my little makeup fridge back there. And this really helps with the waking up process. I'm almost out of my Glossier serums, and I'm thinking about just using some other serums that I have on hand, different kinds. Like, I use three different ones. This is a niacinamide and zinc. I have a hyaluronic acid one, which I really can't get any more up out of right now, and then a vitamin C. So I'm thinking maybe I might have some serums that would pretty much replace what I got here. So I might try that for a while. But I have repurchased this trio of serums probably three times at least. Bobby Brown face space, we love it. And then lately for eyes, I've just been using my Vanny cream that I put in a little Bobby Brown leftover jar. Like it works so well for the dryness I sometimes get right up in here. And ever since I started using it, I haven't gotten so terribly dry like I did that one time. I need to do my nails, I keep telling myself. And I got that lovely little Le Mini Macaroon Gel Nail Kit. And sometimes I just go in waves where I can't get it done. But if I'm honest with myself, I'm, I'm choosing not to get it done. I'm prioritizing other things. It's not because I just can't do it, you know? Gotta repurchase some more of this. I'm about out. The Every Single Face Watery Lotion from super goop. I really like this. I like that it gives me SPF, but it doesn't get in the way, you know? Mm. And every day, friends, there's still some unibrow, some stray hairs. Mom says there'll come a time when that just simply will stop. So we'll see. Mm, that first sip feeling. I love this cup so much. A lot of times in my videos, like I'm holding it with my right hand, my friend Erica gave me this and I love using this cup. By the way, Erica, if you follow her on TikTok, she's been doing a lot of really cool little DIY home projects. So that's been fun to keep up with. And this video isn't necessarily all about the makeup. It's more of just like an everyday vloggy kind of video. So I'll probably just have some snippets in here. school after Easter break. It's Tuesday. And I looked at the lunch menu and I realized it's going to be a lunch making day. <laughs> My kids don't take their lunch every day. They pretty much eat the school lunch except for just a couple certain days. The rib patty on bun and the cheesy meatloaf patty. They're not into that for whatever reason. When those days come along, we make a lunch. And by we, I mean I. Although maybe they could start doing that. All about teaching the kids a little extra independence. This is Teddy Brow from hard candy. I knew once I started talking, then I wouldn't stop. I feel like the skin is looking amazing, but the phone is helping a little bit. Like this is a different camera than what I usually use and everything seems real smooth. This is the cool shade of the Huda new matte palettes. And there's a couple colors in here that feel like creams, but they're like soft creams. It's these two right here. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them. I might take the darker of the two and like put it on the outer corner. But when I saw the picture on the website of her with this on, I was like, game over. I've got to try it. Is anyone familiar with LSU's basketball coach? Her name is Kim Mulkey. You got to just look her up and see like some of the fun things she wears. She seems like a great coach. She just appears to be super passionate and obviously did a great job with LSU women's basketball because they won the women's national championship. But like her style is so fun and so like 
who the heck cares? She has inspired me more than maybe about any influencer to want to be a little more bold. Maybe that will show itself in what I wear. I need to get a few more new wardrobe pieces, but I am wearing the hot pink today. But maybe in my eye looks as well. Maybe I'll just get a little more bold, a little more Kim Mulkey style. Because who cares? I mean, she she's going there. She's having fun with her look and she looks amazing. So what if what I'm doing in the day is school pickup or you know whatever I think there's always this little thing in the back of my mind that's like but what will people think who the heck cares if you feel like wearing it and if it makes you comfortable and if it makes you happy to wear then wear it I feel like I need a little bit of a spring wardrobe makeover I have been looking up like casual dresses things that are a little more fun I'm not nursing a baby anymore I don't have to wear a certain kind of thing everything so I found out this past weekend that bub does not like peeps. And I'm aware there are quite a few people now who don't like peeps. Why? Are you okay with marshmallows? I bet the answer from a lot of people will be yes. Are you okay with sugar? Yes, so it's just sugar on a marshmallow. Please, if you're one of the peeps haters, it's sugar on a marshmallow. Like what's so objectionable here? He couldn't seem to put it into words. If anybody else wants to help them out, like why do why are peeps awful? Plus, they got a million and one different flavors these days. The Easter Bunny brought me party cake, a pretty generous amount of the party cake flavor, and let me tell you, they're good. But I'll just take a regular peep. Also, what's wrong with them? Sugar on marshmallow. Last week, I found out he didn't have the Weather Channel as a child, and he had no idea what local on the 8s was, so. You can be married this long and still come up with a lot of new nuggets on a person. I also got a great idea. You know how the lash serum kinds of products, you know, they go on your lash line, much like an eyeliner, right? How about creating, and does this already exist? Tell me in the comments, but what about an eyeliner that has the same potency of ingredients that you'd just be wearing all day. Because I'm finding that it's really hard to remember to put my lash stuff on at night. But if it was in an eyeliner, especially now it would need to be all the potent ingredients of the lash growth stuff in a really effective non-smudging liner. Okay, so it would have to be doing two things really well. I put some of this pink in my inner corner and it's too, it's too pink there. It looks light, but that ain't white. I don't love that. But using this, I put some of that kind of creamy color. I put that on the outer part of my lid and I don't think it really helped things. If anything, I think it kind of took away from some of the smoothness of blending for a while. We're doing a little wing. Biscuit says hi. By the way, where is the other kitten? When she, this one's always coming in, she's usually standing guard at the end of the steps. She curls up and sleeps on that little balcony area. She's the real protector here, okay? How do the birdies all know that at 10 till six, we all start chirping? So I threw on some lashes. These are my Amazon half lashes that I love so much. Um, I didn't really end up doing anything to the lower lash line except mascara. I'm going to take a bit of my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. How long should I leave my Easter decor up? I really like this look. And then my lip, obviously I went bright. I used this from Milani. Um, see how it's packaged kind of like their matte ones, but it's got that black band on it. So that means it's one of the shiny ones actually, and it's called Covet. And so that's giving me like the main color you see. And then I sort of lined my lips. I thought of it as putting a little fence outside that shade that's so shiny that might give me better staying power. And it's this color from Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Matting Crayon in Treat Yourself. By the way, doesn't Maybelline do an amazing job of matching the packaging to the stick? Like, that could not be any more on point. And they're all that way. And I love that because I know exactly what I'm grabbing just at a glance over here. I don't have to stop and think, okay, now what color is it? NARS could take a few tips. And then I want a little more blush. Given my look, I think my Dollar Tree, um, what was the shade? Berry Plum. That'll be good. Yeah, what are you doing today? Nothing outside the norm. <laughs> just like doing makeup. So right across the room from where I was just sitting is my little desk where I um, do my devotionals and stuff. And it's just very handy. I do have a little coffee station over here. I haven't used that up here in a while. I need to. But this is just a nice little quiet place. And as soon as I get done shooting a video or do, putting my makeup on for the morning, I just come right over here.
this prayer journal that I'm currently using, it's fine. Um, but I will say, like, I don't love it as much. Yeah, I'm a pack rat. I feel like after I'm long gone, I'll, like, give, hand these prayer journals off to my girls. And they'll be like, oh my gosh. This one I really enjoyed the most. It's the spiral-bound version of the prayer journal for women. Shannon Roberts is the person on this one. It gives a message, kind of space to write, pertaining to your like response and reflection of that message. And then on the other pages, they have the teach me, the guide me, things on my heart, prayer requests. Like I really kind of stuck to the format and it worked for me every week. So this is like your week that you're filling in and writing about. And I've been using rainbow pens. So everything comes off looking like a rainbow and I do it in my current one too. So it goes like red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And then the one I currently have, this is what your week looks like. You know, I like the message and stuff. I like what they give you there but the reflection part is just real little and then it's got I'm thankful for things on my mind blah 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 and I can't ever stick to that so I end up putting my gratitude my three gratitudes a day like just kind of off in this margin and then I just write a little bit every day basically thinking about the message the other one was better I'm gonna ride this one out and finish it because I've done it you know every day this year so far I'm gonna stick with it but I would recommend the other one I've gone through that one for two years and it's just it's really good and you know what you can do whatever works for you if you want to you could skip the whole prayer journal idea and just you know read your devotional get out a standard notebook and say you know every day I'm gonna start off my journaling writing about my the things I'm grateful for that's the way I start and then maybe reflecting on on, on the devotional I read that day. That would be fine too. Like it doesn't have to be a prayer journal. I'm just giving a little prayer journal review today. <laughs> so it's just after six. We've got a little sunrise peeking through here. And this is normally about the time that I either, you know, start doing that devotional. My makeup didn't really take me that long today. So I got my devotional and stuff done pretty early. And then I just come down here. I do a little straightening up. Um, I start making lunches and then at around 630 or a little before the girls get up and Bubba gets up too. Bub lately, he's been getting up I would say not too long after me and he goes down to the basement and like does work or work out or something like that when he gets up. This is my Squishmallow Cornelius. get yesterday's dishes done last night because American Idol was the priority and I got a few meal prep containers that Bub um, had left in his car from last week. It's now 6.30 and time for them to be getting up. Good morning! Hi, Hi, Are you already dressed? I need to get something. Can you hold my I finished my Bible. Oh, you finished it? Wow. Still supporting News 3 this morning. My old show I used to be on. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> it is the 11th of April. That's a little parade. Now, what is the little daughter be? Come on, Daddy. <laughs> they got to watch Nick's forecast to figure out what to wear today. Shorts is a question mark because it's a little bit cool this morning. What's the weather grade? Stretching and moving in there. Oh, how did you sleep? I sleep well. It's the Ugga show. He's known as both Bubba and Ugga. And I'm dressed. And I'm dressed. Occasionally. I fell. And this is. Don't fall, mommy. No. Don't fall. No fall. Don't drop the aga. Bub's up. So I'm vlogging. Let me pick oh. it up. Bye. <laughs> Things move fast, so I didn't catch it all, but hairdos are done. Show me your head, cute headband. Wait, no, we don't. Wait, wait. 
Wait, no. Look at this headband though. Look. I want one like that. Okay. Then he stop. <laughs> Mommy, mama. I got, I got. I got a Fitbit on. Yeah. This is the one who plays boss. I know who she learned that from. Except those are the ones Bub walks around the house with. The Easter Bunny brought them this dope Polly Pocket Museum for Easter. And look, there's an actual little Sphinx. There's a pyramid that opens with like a tomb. There's a dino skeleton, like, it's so cute. Volcano, I mean, it's practically the St. Louis City Museum just in a little small space. What's this one doing? Oh, that's a cute picture. It seems like waking up at 6.30, leaving the house around 7.30 isn't a ton of time, but yet they have been pretty efficient lately and seem to have a, some extra time. I think it's here for a hedgehog or perch. Let me just calculate. In oh, I know Lisa. Easter's over, but I don't want to take this sign down. Okay. Right. Bunnies exist at all times. This is the hedge. This is the hog. <laughs> this is yeah. the eyeliner swatch. He grabbed my hand. He's watching a little handyman howl while enjoying some milk and Cheerios. What's it like to be so perfect, huh? Love you. Just give a wave like you just walked in. So it's about eight o'clock at this point. The girls are at school. Um, Mom came over and she helps so much with Bubba upstairs. They do all kinds of things for a couple hours so I can get some work done um, on videos. This is where I do some editing, uploading, coming up with future ideas, just some real concentrated work time. And I appreciate having that so much. I think in the future I may do like a full day vlog, but just to let you know, like there's no real activities on tap for the day. The girls are at school. I go pick them up in the afternoon. Before that, we have, of course, lunch. Bubba still takes an afternoon nap, and that's another time when I get a lot of work done as well. So thank you all for watching. I hope you like this. A lot of people have been asking for more vlogs, so here we go. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys again very soon. I love you. Bye.